Oh my god, this is amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts, back at it again. Today we're going to be looking at Reincarnacion by Thalia. A recommendation made possible by you guys. And I'm looking forward to this one, guys. It's been a while since I've done Thalia. Um, and I'm going to be looking at her official video. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear your feedback. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Helps support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Get the heck out of here. Oh, oh my god. Holy macaroni, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is gonna get me excited, guys. This is getting excited. I didn't know this was happening. I didn't know this was going to happen. Did not know anything about this song at all, at all, or the video. Not accustomed to this, not not knowing anything. Guys, Latin pop at its finest, at its at its finest. But very danceable, very danceable. Middle Eastern vibes, Middle Eastern vibes. She's throwing in a lot of those elements in there. You hear them, you hear them in the back um, very nicely. And also in the visuals as well. Look, she's not even herself. I guess that's the reincarnation, how she's what she's speaking about, um, putting that into existence. She's looking into the mirror and she doesn't see herself. She sees someone else. Maybe she's reincarnated in someone else's body, um, but uh, I, I would love to, to, to know more of the deeper meaning behind this, and I'll probably get to that a little bit later, but I love the visuals. I love the dancing. I love all this. It's pure pop. Pure pop, guys. I love it. God. She looks beautiful. She looks absolutely beautiful. Beautiful and sexy. She has this natural beauty to her face. She's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, I'm hearing a lot of kind of like those, um, <laughs> how do I say it? It reminds me a little bit of kind of like Ricky Martin. Um, Copa, Copa, Copa de la Vida, something like that, I think that's called. It has kind of like those sounds, uh, kind of like those world sounds. Um, I have yet to react to that, by the way, and I want to. But what I'm hearing is a lot of kind of like whistles, the whistles in the background, almost kind of like it's like a, a, a mass crowd of people chanting, chanting. And uh, of course, you're getting all those beats and dance beats uh, in the back with, with the pop. Very, very heavy, heavy influence in dance, this song. And I'm liking it. I'm liking what Thalia is bringing to the table. I believe this is the first, I'm, first time I'm reacting to her um, in this fashion. Um, uh, I know, I think, what was it? The first one... Um, was it a ballad? I don't know. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was also a dance one. Aquí le importa. Yeah. The first one I did that was, that was for Pride Week. That was, that was amazing. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put a link on the top. And then the second one was a ballad, but then it got spicy too. Right? It, it surprised me. This one right off the bat is spicy. Yes. Look at that. Look how she looks. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Sexy. 
she looks amazing. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. And um, this dancing and everything, even though she's not dancing much and she's not doing some choreograph moves into it, I'm I'm all in. I'm all in. I love it. I love it. This sounds, this kind of has a late 90s vibe to it, but it's 2001. So give or take a couple of years. Not too bad. Not too, not too, not too far from that. Not too distant. But I like this. I wonder how this album is. I wonder how this album is. This is going to pique my interest now but listen to the trumpets getting trumpets in there latin influence obviously here latin pop this is latin pop but um very dancey those chants and everything continue middle eastern kind of strings in the background too as well and don't forget about those tambores those tambores are very very heavy very heavy um by the way emilio estefan on the project guys so uh you want to talk about trumpets and tambores up his alley up his alley love it love it love it God, I love this. Look at that. So a lot of a lot of um, layering with voices, uh, echoing, echoing voices in the background. Dalia's voice using that. Um, loving these costume changes throughout the video, almost like different kind of like um, regions of the world. Uh, some little Eastern, some native stuff going on, um, and and you see like all these different type of like different designs and stuff like that. And I love the the this kind of like sepia. Uh, color that she's done here specifically for this scene that's heavily prominent in the video um, because obviously the the um, the Middle Eastern vibes are, are very heavily prime by, by the way guys she is not afraid to show some skin look at this full exposure full exposure and she looks fabulous and she looks sexy and she's feeling it guys this is a sexy song a sexy song that you want to dance to you want to dance to um, and I'm loving these lyrics too by the way you know, very sexual too, so very nice. Oh. Oh. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh. Oh my god, this is amazing! Oh. oh my god! What the heck was that? Is it over? I don't think it's over. It's 338, but she... That's how you end... Oh my god, that was explosive. That was explosive. Those trumpets, the way that... In, in, full, in full Emilio Stefan fashion. For this, uh, that, that's, that's definitely something he does um, because you know he's done that with a lot of Gloria Stefan's work but it, it's great it's great it's great it's great holy crap I wonder if he was involved in the project or the video itself I know that he directed the video okay yeah he written he, he wrote it um, but he also directed it or also directed the video but he had to be in the, in the project with the song production because it sounds a lot like him um love it love it love it very very heavy dance definitely something i have on my playlist probably for um for pride because uh, i have i have a pride playlist um and also dance dance all the way let's see if it continues let's see if it continues look at that oh. Wow, hypnotic. That's different. That's very different. I like this. I like what she's done here. Um, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. It's kind of sexy. But it also has a lot of spiritual, kind of spiritual lift, too. Um, and I think that was the whole point of it. I think the whole point was to, to give it that appeal. 
um, and I wasn't entirely sure if it was finished or not. I got, I got so excited with that explosive kind of like end, so to speak, that it was incredible. But um, her, the chorus, the chorus is pretty good. Um, she says, oh, oh, ah, no quiero enamorarme ya, que la caída duele más. No quiero enamorarme ya, pero no será en tu amor. So basically, she doesn't want to fall, fall again, basically, um, because she's she's been hurt. You know, she's been hurt before. Um, she's been hurt before with her with the fall, the fall in love. She doesn't want to she doesn't want to fall again in love because she's been hurt before, um, and she doesn't want to kind of like that continuous repl uh, replication of it. But I want to mention something about the song because uh, even though reincarnation, because you know uh, she's basically having been re reborn in another body, and you see she's looking into the mirror and she sees someone else. She doesn't see herself. Um, it actually talks about love that lasts through eternity. So she states that even though she and her love keep meeting through various lifetimes, I guess that explains all those different scenarios with different costume changes, um, she doesn't want to fall in love again because she's been hurt already. She's been hurt so many times. Um, the song features all these Middle Eastern vibes and the lyrics uh, provided written by Talia herself. Um, and it was directed by Emilio Estefan Jr. So there you go. And by the way, in the charts, this did in Hot Latin Billboard charts 30. It peaked 30. And the U.S. Latin, Latin, Latin Billboard, it did 17. So not too bad. Not too bad. Very, very powerful uh, dance rhythms. Very powerful. This gets you going, guys. This gets you going all the way, all the way. Um, definitely a Saturday night, night um, dance number to have. Um, and just go, 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 go and dance on it. This is from her fourth single. Uh, her album, Arasando, Arasando, it was a hit single through Latin America, as I mentioned, through, through, the, through the charts. And the video was also a big hit, apparently. She promoted the song in various TV shows, and she sang it uh, live. So there is live versions of this song, and I'm, I would look, like, love to look into that. But I want to know, I want to get all the, the, the juicy information if Emilio Stefan was in production, because it sounds a lot like him with those trumpets and drums and tambores. That's up his alley, up his alley. We know how well he does that. Um, so lyrically, you know, it's on the money as well. It's on the money as well. It's very catchy, very catchy. The chorus is very catchy. And um, as she's kind of like being very seductive in her looks, um, at the same time, she's saying that she doesn't want to love again. She doesn't want to fall in love again. Um, she's she's fell before and she's been hurt before. She doesn't want to do it again. Um, but uh, so, you know, what's let's let's look at the lyrics a little bit more. Um, Miro en tus pupilas, in your eyes. Y atravieso en un espacio sin manecillas. Eran otros tiempos. Otro nombre y hasta creo otro sexo. Oh my God, look at that. Vamos a romper el círculo de este cuento y seamos para siempre dos amantes navegando en un tiempo. Yeah, she's basically talking about the reincarnation of love, too, at the same time. Um, and going through those, those different types of uh, cycles, because it becomes a vicious cycle as you reincarnate, you know, you meet again, you meet, your love meets again. And it was different times, different times, different scenarios. She, you see her in different, different scenarios, different times, you know, the Cupid, um, you know, the, the Middle Eastern, you know, thing and stuff like that with those, oh, those strings are, this was a very, very well produced song, um, with instrumentation and Thalia, she's good dance. She's good in dance. Yeah. I want to, I want to see more. I want to see more. This is going to get my Derek Reacts approved coming at you without a doubt. Um, I enjoyed it from beginning to end. Um, and I fell in love. I fell in love, especially with instru instrumentation and um, Thalia's overall appeal. She looked amazing in this video. Amazing. Very sexy. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, if you have any suggestions and comments for the next Thalia reaction, please leave your feedback down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Until next time, for more videos like these, guys. Take care. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out. Help support the channel. Makes your voice, your recommendations all the more possible. Take care, guys. Love you guys. Peace.